It's all about the motion. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today, I'm bringing you motion tracking, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. Now, I'm about to show you how to get down with this motion tracking thing, but if you like the motion tracking feature and you decide that you wanna know more about what's new in Pinnacle Studio 20, make sure you check out my Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate what's new video it'll give you all the insights into all the new features all right let's make this happen people two types of motion tracking one is masking the other is following i'm going to show you both so to mask an item you want to right click on the video clip go to track motion and then select mask object So once you do that, the first thing you want to do is pick the shape. Do you want to mask it as a circle or a square? I'm going to select circle. So I'm going to click on circle. And then I'm going to bring my cursor over into the preview window. And you'll see a crosshairs. And with this crosshairs, all you got to do is left click when you want to start your circle or your square. And drag it out to the shape, size, and all that good stuff that you want. Of course, you can go ahead and change up the size and all that good stuff. And also, if you want to be very precise, you can actually hover over a node and move each node wherever you want it to be. So also just another cool way to be very precise with your mask if you wish to do so. And I think that's pretty good for me, so I'm going to leave it like that. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to pick what type of mask you want. Do you want a mosaic? Sounds so, like, cultured. Mosaic? Or would you like a blur? So you pick the one that you want, or you can pick both. So if you pick mosaic, you click that little box, and then you see what the preview looks like. And then same thing for blur. If you click on the little box for blur... You get to see a preview. It's barely going to blur it because this is very low right now. It's on two. So bring this up so the blur is more pronounced. Or if you want to, you can go all out and pick both. So we'll go ahead and pick both on here. And so the next thing you want to do is you want to analyze your video. So if you want to go frame by frame, backwards or forwards, then you can analyze each frame, one frame at a time, move your playhead, and be really, really precise on where your mask goes. Or you can track the selected uh, mask backward for all frames, and it'll stop wherever like that, that item or that object that you're masking goes out of the shot. Same thing with forward. You can do the same thing. Just mask forward for all frames until that item goes out of the shot. Or you can just pick track selected mask, and it'll analyze and do everything real well won't do it fast but it'll do it so let's click on track selected mask and now we'll play the waiting game Woo! finally done all right of course i skipped all of that but i know it took a long time for that to do it for you so now that it's done you can either scrub your playhead across the timeline and see the mask see if you like it if you don't like it you can always change it up and make it how you do like it all right by just moving these nodes somewhere else and then analyzing it again but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just gonna click on OK because I'm done all right and then you just let it render its life away just render it will be back after it's done rendering all right now that it's done rendering we'll do a little quick playback 
You get to see the beauty of the mask, masked out face. It looks lovely, doesn't it? All right, so we're done with that. So now you know how to mask an object. So now we'll show you how to follow an object. So now we have this track here of these guys in a basketball. And I want to follow the basketball with some text. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this clip. I'm going to go to track motion and I'm going to go to mask object. Yes, mask object. I'm going to do it again to this clip. All right, so I'm going to pick circle again. I'm going to make my circle where I want it. So this time I'm not going to check mosaic and I'm not going to check blur because I don't want that to happen this time. I want everything to stay. So I'm going to click on analyze and play the waiting game. All right. Now that it is done, I'm just going to scrub the timeline to make sure that my little mask stayed with the ball the whole time. And it did, so I'm good with that. So now what I need to do is click on OK. And for this, I want to track a title. So I'm going to make sure that the track right above these two clips is selected. And I'm going to click on the Create Title button. I'll just do something simple here. And now I'm going to stretch out the side of the title to match side of the clips below it. Then I'm going to right click on the title, go to track motion. And now there's an option to follow an object. And that option is only available when there are items overlaid in the timeline. So I'm going to click on follow object. And so now you can see there's a tracker. It's a crosshairs with a circle. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to place it right where I had the mask created over the ball, right in the center. And I don't want the word ball to be so small and I don't want it to be sitting there. I want the word to be somewhere else. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the size of the text. And I'm going to change the position to place it where I want it. And it's pretty good there. And now I'm going to select track selected point. And you know what time it is. It's time to wait. And now that the waiting game has finally concluded, if we go ahead and play this back, We'll see that the word ball actually follows the ball. So now you just click on OK. Let this bad boy render itself out. And motion tracking has been commenced. Or whatever the heck you want to say. 
I want to thank you for watching the video all the way through to the end. It really means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, make sure that you hit the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. All right. If you got questions, you have any comments, you have a video tutorial request, leave it in the comment section below. If I can help you, I'll get back to you. If I can't, I'll point you in the right direction and make sure that you get the help you deserve. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button people smash it when you smash the subscribe button you get notifications from youtube every time i download content which means you get to see all of the pinnacle studio tutorials and product reviews that i bring to youtube for your viewing enjoyment thanks for watching we'll see you again soon